uh, let me address Ricky, Daryl, and uh, and JG. Um, you know, they, they all got injured during the course of the game. I don't know to what extent. Um, and I know that uh, Ricky had a shoulder injury, and I'm not sure about. Uh, I think Jermaine had a shoulder injury as well, and Daryl a foot injury. So we'll just see where they are tomorrow and how they're feeling over the next couple of days. Um, I can probably open by saying, as I, I told the team uh, on a collective level, though, you know, our performance was unacceptable as a football team. I think the guys. Uh, you know, readily are aware of it and, uh, and believe that was the case. We, we certainly didn't play well enough in, in any phase uh, to uh, uh, to play at, at the highly competitive level we needed to play tonight. And uh, we know we have it in us, but we certainly didn't show it today. Uh, we did do a, a great job of protecting the football on a number of accounts. We had some opportunities uh, to, to make some plays defensively. We did make a couple of plays to turn the ball loose. We had a big putt return, obviously. And, uh, in the return game, we weren't as tight as we, we normally should be, obviously. So, uh, you know, we're excited about it. We're, uh, we're, we're making a move tomorrow to a, to a new place to, to start over. we got a week to work. Uh, I mentioned to the, the players that our coaches are going to do a great job over the next couple of days of you know, evaluating each player and making sure that we can help them uh, uh, get better. Uh, we'll, we'll do the same collective uh, examination of our team in all three phases. And, coordinators will talk and to our players about what we need to do to get better collectively and then we'll put it all together as a team and uh, we'll come back on, on Sunday and uh, regroup and, and get ready to go to Montreal at the end of the week. Do you, do you think that the, uh, you spent a lot of time with, uh, with Ricky on the sidelines there after he got hurt, sat with him for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, what, how is he feeling uh, fundamentally about that? Yeah, I think he's in a, in a, in a good place. We'll, we'll wait and see tomorrow. I mean, can't speak for him or, or how he feels right now, but I, I think that uh, it's just a wait and see. We've got to keep our fingers crossed and see, see where he's at over the next couple days. What did he say to you after he, he tried a few throws there? What did he say to you after that? Like, was that just a, a non-starter at that point? Yes, he was a non-starter at that point. He was sore and uh, you know couldn't really complete the throwing motion. Uh, but again, he was in, in, in a great amount of pain, but enough that uh, it would not inhibit his throwing. How much of the scheduling do you, or how much is scheduling a factor in tonight's? I, I'm not going to answer that. I mean, we were in the same, we're in the same boat as uh, teams are across the league. Uh, they they flew across the country <laughs> yesterday to play a game, and they played Saturday night as well. So, uh, you know, we have to give credit to them. Uh, I don't think, um, you know, there's any more to be said than that. It's just part of our our scheduling. We're, we're, we make no excuses about it. We didn't play well enough to win tonight. Coach, giving up a late touchdown just before the half and then scoring on the first drive of the second half, is that just too much for them to try and overcome? Oh, I don't know that we look at it that way. I mean, we come out and I think the guys played played hard all the way through. I saw some you know, very good effort uh, in, the, in the last uh, 15 minutes of the game. So, I mean, you could say that and you could write that and you, and you wouldn't be wrong, uh, but I can't say that. I, I really can't. I think that, uh, you know, the game, uh, the flow of the game, uh, we, you know, we did not play well. Um, it starts with me. Um, I've got to do a better job of preparing them. I, I don't think I, you know, I did that in terms of we try to do it all the right ways and, and get it done. But you know, obviously that didn't show up, and when it doesn't show up, that starts with me. How much does uh, Cody's different dimension, especially the fact that he runs so well, as we saw on that touchdown late in the game? Yeah, you answered my question. You answered your own question. I think that's true. I mean, he does give us some mobility and some. Uh, some out of the pocket ability to extend plays, uh, you know, with his feet and with his speed. That, uh, um, but, uh, and I think you saw that tonight. So I mean, so when you're going and you're going to game plan for him, this is all stuff that you already have. It's just you're pulling out of. Uh, I mean, he he just ran off the game plan tonight and just, you know, made some plays, extended some plays when he had the opportunity to do that. Very good, thank you. Okay, thank you.